Hi guys, this is Sujia from Propedia. I'm sure many of you who are looking to purchase a condo, whether be it an upgrade from your HDB or as an investment property, the first question that pops up will be, do I buy a new launch or a resale condo in today's market? Today, I'll be touching on three questions you have to ask yourselves to make an informed decision on your property purchase. Let's begin. we must always understand the objective behind our purchase. The first and most important question, is this property for investment or own stay? As the factors you look at will be different for each. Secondly, are profits also known as capital appreciation your main goal in this purchase? If it is for investment purpose, what is your investment time horizon and how much is the potential rental yield? Thirdly, are there any non-financial reasons behind this move? Take for example, are you moving closer to a school of choice for your kids or to care for your elderly parents? Are the proximity to amenities important such as public transport or supermarket? Do you have a big family and you hope for a bigger space? These questions will help you decide your priorities in the next purchase. Today, we'll focus on own stay with an assumption that a client is looking to purchase a property in District 15 back in 2017 with a budget of 1.5 million. Let's do a quick comparison on two developments in District 15 to get a better idea. Seaside Residence, which is a newly TOP project, versus Costa del Sol, which is an older resale condo. A brief introduction on these projects mentioned, Seaside Residence, located along Siglap Link, is a 99 years leasehold project that was completed this year. It has a total of 841 units. Costa del Sol, located along Bayshore Road, is also a 99 years leasehold project that is completed in 1997 it has a total of 906 units. With a budget of 1.5 million, you'll be able to afford up to a 2 bader of 829 square feet at Seaside Residences and a more spacious 3 bader, which is about 1,003 square feet at Costa del Sol. Now, let's take a look at the profits for these two developments, assuming if you bought in at 2017 and sold in 2021, which is over a span of 4 years. Seaside Residences have seen profits of averagely close to 300,000 even for some of the smaller units which you can well afford with a 1.5 million budget, while Costa del Sol has seen profits between 130,000 to 260,000. There was also a loss of 150,000 for one of the units in Costa del Sol bought in 2017 and sold in 2020. Holding power is also one of the key factors in the resale market, so you should always ask yourself how long you intend to stay in this next property for. If you look at the transactions for Costa del Sol, you'll see that the lower floor unit of slightly bigger size made double the profits compared to the one on the higher floor. This boils down to the entry price as well. So depending on the profile of the buyer, if you have kids, require a bigger space and find it a hassle to rent, you'll be more inclined to get a resale condo with the same budget. However, if you are a young couple currently living with your parents, no kids and don't mind a longer wait for your new place, you may consider getting a new launch to reap higher profits. With that being said, both resale and new launch condo have made decent profits. End day, it boils down to your ultimate goal and the next property purchase, as mentioned earlier. If you are torn between a new launch or resale condo today, do drop us a comment below and we'll be able to do the same analysis for you as well. Once again, I'm Sujia, thanks for watching.